This is an old coal mining area. This is the site of a former pit, and there aren't many jobs up here. It's totally unique, and it's something that brings something to this area that otherwise wouldn't be here. I suppose them truck, being pretty, be the country of Maru. This is what it's all about, regeneration of this part of the Amman Valley. And the more people that we can bring in as visitors, the better that we have this wonderful facility here. The Amman Valley is the gateway to the Black Mountain and the Brecon Beacons. Once these roads brought thousands of men to work in the area's coal mines, the Steer, Mardi and East Pits that surrounded the village of Taithgwaith. The pits may have closed, but thousands of people continue to be drawn to the area. These days, for very different reasons. Now that the pits have closed, the blackness has gone, the greens come back, and you can see what's uh, very exciting, the way people are developing this. It must have been very difficult when the pits closed. But now, out of that, rises a phoenix. Where once the old pit pony was the workhorse, Today, it's been replaced by a much faster model. The Amman Valley Trotting Club was founded in 1979 when around 30 members of the local community came together with a common aim. And we don't need one of my tracks here, all well, but you get in a sea rasso and in a kick of foot of your leaders come rigid. It's a non stop job, really. We work from morning till night. We have 22 members, 14 of which are community members. It's community-led, and that's what it's all about. Another part of the area's proud mining tradition is still very much alive and kicking in Tyrgwaith, the community brass band. My band, Gwai Kagerwen, a man who put a hundred of the dead in the friend of Manma, Estros Kanri. Whilst television trained the eyes of the outside world on Tyrgwaith, the momentum generated by the local club created interest from afar and brought familiar faces back to their old stomping ground. Mae'r ardal hyn yn rhoi teimladau cymysg i fi, achos mae sgwriel sydd wedi neud y trac hyn, ond dod o'r pit hyn fyny. Dda rydyn dy tîn gweithio'n agos yn dygu i ladd fyny. Fel yn 1952, agos ei fwrw gyda'r trac, dwi'n bod yn cofio'r dwrnod da'ch chi'n ffrind gyrtrau i wneud bod fi'n cael ei ladd. Mae'r ardal hyn yn meddwl hopeth i fi, chi'n mynd i'n sylbiw yn yr ardal hyn, a fi wedi bod mo'n sylweth hefyd, wnes i weld bod pobl yn mynd yn The New Dawn was launched at an inspirational evening back in 2006 when the club made their impressive plans public, with more than a little help from some big backers. The Welsh Assembly Government's putting a lot of support into this because this is a very important local event, hugely popular, but attracting people from all over Britain. Sport is a great uh, lubricator of regeneration, a great way of bringing people together. It's part of the regeneration, part also showing that these valleys are fantastic places. Now that the pits have closed, the blackness has gone, the greens come back, to see them come to get it going like this is absolutely fantastic. Converting the old pit into a new community arena hasn't happened overnight. But the club hasn't hung around either. Within two years, it was out with the old and in with a brand new half-mile harness racing track. Two years later came the floodlights, switched on by none other than Ruth Maddock. Let there be light. Five years ago when I moved back down here, they asked me if I'd like to be vice president of really? this, this wonderful venture. So I was delighted that this has really become a, a, a venture for the whole community bit to get involved in. This is what it's all about, regeneration of this part of the Amman Valley. We are in a deprived area, but we do have a visitor attraction here, and it's something that brings 
something to this area that otherwise wouldn't be here. I suppose them truck, ma, being pretty, be the pinch of them all. My push said, would a spread now, I thought of them all a minute. There's a lot of bubble and it can be a minute. Today, there's something for everyone at the Amman Valley Trotting Club. Fast bikes. All kinds of entertainment. Equine activities. With the whole package attracting quite a few famous faces. We've been doing a bit of trotting training. Trotting, yeah. Yeah, yeah, enjoys That's it. That's why we're full of mud, yeah. Yeah, it's been good actually. Yeah. Whatever impression Rory McGrath and Paddy McGuinness may have left, it doesn't compare with that made by the American bred Irish owned Dune Bed, who puts Tyre Gwaith well and truly on the world map. This community-led project has come a long way. But this club isn't one to rest on its laurels. They know where they're going. And they're getting there. We hope to build a grandstand so we can have catering facilities undercover. So things are looking up. What they've achieved at this trotting club. It's just amazing. And the more people that we can bring in as visitors from over the border, the better. So we didn't know this, I didn't know this, I didn't know this. We didn't know this, I didn't know this.